Good day, good day, everybody. Welcome back to the show. For those of you who don't know who we are, <clears throat> we've taken upon ourselves as uh, elite astral travellers to fly around and remove um, the non-physical aspects that are dominating our world right now. The nastiness, the evil, um, the backing that the Illuminati has um, in the upstairs regions. So that's what we do. And uh, we've been winning fairly consistently. Um, and our, the, the goals of humanity have been advancing very consistently. Um, and we're at a point now where we're kind of wondering how come things haven't changed? How come the global government or the deep state hasn't collapsed yet? How come all of this drama isn't over yet? And, uh, and the question came up like, well, because us humans don't own the earth, somebody else owns the earth. Okay, fair enough. Well, so who does have the Earth? Who's who's got legal title to planet Earth? Which is a weird question, but it seems to have come forward. And uh, that's what last night's mission was about. So we went after. So what we had divined occurred was that when the reptilians first showed up here, um, they had to create a legal claim. They had to create a, create a right to be here. So what they did was they um, twisted one of the ley lines with a little bit of their own energy. And um, and then because their energy was present on Earth, they claimed it as theirs. Um, so we went back to that original, we found that piece of ley line, which is uh, south of the Himalayas, and went through and cured, the, cured that ley line, healed out that ley line. What was really interesting was that um, present there, there was a there was a, an eternal plane for the reptilians that was fueled from the earth, like they were siphoning energy out of Gaia to fuel the eternal flame for the reptilians here on earth. Like, right, so we shut that down, um, purged all their material, all of the coding, all of the um, energy out of that particular section of ley line. And then the really interesting thing was this Rubik's cube looking thing that we found. And um, while that ley line was um, in effect, the Rubik's cube would never be solved and the world would never reach order. The world would never reach harmony. You know, it would always be a messy, the puzzle would always be a mess and everything would always be disjointed forevermore. And it took us ages to solve the Rubik's Cube on the astral plane. It's like, don't, if, if you get stuck trying to do it, don't try it. It's hard. <laughs> Even for us, it took us forever. Um, but once we did, uh, we saw fresh en energy emanating throughout the whole world. It's like, um, it's like a cloud was forming under Gaia and she started floating up. She started rising up. Harmony started to flourish through the through the lines where disharmony was the order of the day. Um, we also replicated that through um, another far the this particular coding of ley line had gone through six alternate realities. So our one and five other um, parallel realities. And so we we uh, use the template of our success here to imprint on the other five realities so that our reality can't be re-imprinted from theirs. Um, it's like deleting it off six hard drives so that um, it can't be backed up to anywhere else. Quite a mission, but it does start to ask the question, whose planet is this? Because the reptilians... If you've been watching the show, um, have effectively renounced their claim to Earth, they've decided to go through an ascension process. Um, and so, if it's not the reptilians, and it doesn't seem to be any of the punks they invited to replace them, then whose planet is this? And there's a power vacuum there, and it needs filling. Quick smart. So, uh, we're in uncharted territory. So. I'll keep you posted. It's um, very exciting stuff. Oh, if you like what we, we're doing, please stop ignoring my Patreon. My Patreon tells me that I should keep doing this. If you guys care about what we're doing and you think it's important, please 
put some coins in the jar. It makes a big, big difference to us. Um, yeah, like and subscribe to the channel, all of the usual stuff. Um, you know, uh, friend me on Facebook because that's where I talk to most people. But uh, if you're serious about getting some work done, there's a telephone link um, in the description. Thank you. And um, keep on trucking. <laughs>